Hello. I was sitting silently on my front porch back in Australia. I was surrounded by kangaroos. The moon was shining and the stars were bright. And I was alone that night, surrounded by the darkness, the warmth of the earth. And behind me, I could feel the mountains reaching for the sky. I was rocking my chair a little up and down. And in my hand, I held a cigarette. And I was drawing on it heavenly, sucking in life, and maybe sometimes a fly that just passed by. With my other hand, I was hitting the mosquitoes that were sucking me dry. And I lifted up my head a little and focused my eyes on the star and wanted to speak and say so much to this star. And while I looked at this star, tears were rolling down my cheeks and I lowered my head. For way back in Australia, I was always very sad. And I said, Star, you always follow me around wherever I roam. And yet I'm a man so alone, without a home. And then I lifted my head again, and it was as if the star had come a little closer to me. And then he said, Don't you see? Don't you see? That was all he said. Don't you see? And I had to be honest. And I said, no. No, I don't see me. I don't see me. I feel lost, I said. I have traveled around so much, always following the sun. And then I see the stars at night and the moon shine above me. I have lived, I said, in a world without love. That's why I often look up into the sky. And the star said, but I love you. And again, I had to be honest and said, I don't know. The sun loves you and the moon and all the other planets. And I couldn't believe my ears. I looked up into the sky and not only that star that spoke to me, but all the others and started seeing more than I ever saw before. Millions of stars were shining brightly, and on the right of me was the moon, and they all sang together, we love you, come home soon. Tears were rolling down my cheeks, but no longer of sadness, but I felt I was coming home. I no longer had that feeling that I was alone, and I kept opening my eyes more and more. And above me, I saw this great light. That light went brighter and brighter. And all of a sudden, I was no more. I never had that feeling again, except at the shore when I'm near the ocean. I melt with the sea. Then there is no me. And now, I'm in Rathinon on the island Crete, looking at the ocean, at that wonderful sea, while I ride. At night, I lift my head to see the stars. I've never seen them so bright. It enlightens my night. And the moon is here so strong, so powerful. And day after day, I pick out that star, that star that spoke to me. The star that at first said, I love thee. I learned since then that this star lives in me, and that I live in that star. And I want to keep on shining so brightly without wanting. It is difficult, but I try without trying. But I do a lot of crying, walking away from my inner home. Then I feel sad again and so alone. But I always feel that no star is far, and I speak to 
that star all the time. Because he's not only mine, but belongs also to you. This star is universal. It belongs to everyone. And wherever you are alone, and you have so many stories to tell, so many things that you still see at night, and the pain is too great, there is a star hanging above your head, a life and well. Now this is a story I wanted to tell. And you know, maybe this is what they try to say at Christmas time. That the star of Bethlehem was not only for Jesus, but for you as well. Okay.